Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kadabo Space Program, where today we have a slightly different episode than what I was originally planning, and by slightly I mean completely different, <laughs> not in any semblance of what I was originally planning for today. Now, my original hope was to head to Minmus with the same probe that we sent to the moon back here. Uh, in the last episode, do that today, send it to Minmus, collect some more science, be good explorers, blah blah blah. But instead, I want to go into this testing world here because, well, I found a mod earlier today on the forums that I just cannot pass up the opportunity to show it off to you guys, because it is just so cool, and I really love it, and I'm going to be incorporating it into my save files for this game. And the mod in question is the Raster Prop Monitor by user or forum user Mihara. And what this mod does is it turns your IVA into a glass cockpit experience. And it's awesome. <laughs> it's actually a mod that I've been looking for for a while and wishing there was something that did this. And now we have it. It's a little bit different than your typical mods, though, because it's not technically meant for users like me or you. It's uh, the guy actually made it, or, or girl, I honestly have no idea what the name Mihara, but <laughs> uh, the mod maker's original intention was for it to be something for other modders to use to incorporate into their game or into their mods that they're making. And what it does is it adds a glass panel to each of these four capsules. Unfortunately, it doesn't add it to the other capsules, though some of these don't even have interiors in the first place, so... Yeah, it wouldn't be any instrumentation there anyways. But these four capsules, the Mark I cockpit, the cupola module, the Mark I command pod, and the Mark I-2 command pod, it adds a wonderful, beautiful panel into each of these that just gives you a whole lot more information. Now, I keep just saying information. What kind of information? Well, I've got a couple of vehicles. Actually, you know what? I never thought about this. Can we see them here? I don't think we can. No. There should be four vehicles here and one over here, and I don't see any of them, so... I never actually thought of checking that, but... Huh, that'd be cool if you could see them. Oh well, let's go to the tracking station and check out first the cupola, if I'm, if, I don't know if I've ever pronounced that correctly, but let's go over to it. And as you can see, I've got four little rovers here, one for each of the capsules that this mod works with. And the glass cockpit experience I'm talking about is if we join Jebediah on EVA, zoom out a bit, this. The Asset Panel, Main Core Log, and it's glorious. Now, as you all know, if you've watched me for a while, I used to have MechJeb on my playthrough, not for, like, autopilot or anything like that. I just used MechJeb for the info panels, as it was just so glorious. But now, with this, you can have that in the cockpit. Like, right now, we have orbital parameters, and if we had a ship in orbit, which we may launch one just to see this in a moment, because I, I actually haven't seen it in a launch yet. I just built these four, or actually five rovers real quick. You'll see the fifth one in a moment. Uh, just to check them out. So we have the orbital parameters here, which it should show if we were actually going into orbit, your apoapsis, periapsis, all that sort of stuff. Then we have landing data, which right now we're at an altitude of 1.3 meters. I... I... I don't, what's... Oh, to sea level. Altitude to sea level. Okay, I had to think about that for a second. ASL. Hmm. Really? We're 69 meters above sea level? Huh. Where's the gauge for that? Radar out... Uh, hmm. It's the radar altimeter, but... Hmm. I wonder if that's exactly correct. But, oh well, we've got uh, ve velocities, all that. I have no idea what TWR stands for. If you know, tell me in the comments. I would, I would like to know. And we have wheels, so I guess that counts as landing legs. And it also show you your SAS and RCS, so if we toggle those on and off, you can see the lights come on over there, as well as it coming on and off here, as well as there. Now, the next... We have, ooh, actually, no, next one down is Rendezvous, and if we clicked on a target for Rendezvous, which I'll demonstrate here in a moment, it would give you information for that. 
docking information similarly to the rendezvous. And we have the location. So this is our exact lat long coordinates on Kerbin right now, which is actually really cool. I'm, I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this for knowing where exactly I am so that I can try and repeat like moon landings better because then I'll know coordinates. At least that's my hope. Probably won't actually come to that, but it's cool because it also shows our heading, pitch, roll, all of that. Crew roster, so we've got the vessel, Gopala, and Jebediah is the commander. And then the final panel is intentionally left blank. Testing character generation, blah, 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 blah. there it is. So, <laughs> uh, this is one of the parts for modders so they could add additional things to here or change any of the other buttons. Like I said, this mod is actually intended for other modders, but these various panels are just so useful. I'm going to love having them in these capsules. So if we, actually, no, we don't need to, do we need to go out to, the, oh, can we do it from here? The Mark I capsule, let's switch to that. Or wait, why did I even actually do that? We can switch with the buttons. I always forget that I can switch with the brackets. But there we go. So here in the single person Mark I capsule, if we go outside, just this lovely little one here. Go back in, and we have the glass capsule here to the side, kind of precariously perched. But still, you can get all the same information there. If we leave and actually do this sensibly and go to this capsule from there. Now, this one's actually really cool because since there are the different seat positions, so if we go to... Uh, Oh, who did I actually click on? Was this Bill or Bob? I don't remember. But he is in the back. The other guys are up there in the front. He has his own individual panel here, right there. Nice and glorious to see. And if we go back out and go to, ooh, Matt Kerman. There we are. They have a shared panel in the center between the two of them, which is pretty cool. I like that. Do you like that? He does seem to like that. I forget his name. Uh, what does that say? Nilami. Nilami Kerman, all right. And then next, the uh, cockpit here. This one is actually really cool as well. And if you are a pilot, you will probably enjoy this for your cockpit on this uh, particular capsule as you have it right there under your instruments. Very cool, very nice. I really do enjoy these. And then what I have so that we can check out the rendezvous stuff is I've set up this one here which has a crew loaded, and I want to test out the rendezvous and docking settings. So, what we actually need to do, I have this one stationed and ready to go. Let's actually head back to the Space Center and spawn another one of those on the runway so we can check out the rendezvous. All right, docking test. There we go, launch. And, hmm, let's do this from the center seat. I would rather look at it more straight on. And I haven't actually tried this yet, so this is going to be a new experience for me as well. Let's, uh... Oh, I always hate how you can't set the target from here. Let's go back to the map. Da -da -da, there we are. Set that as our target. Excellent. Come out of the map. Go into Desdrin's seat on IVA. Look down at our info panel. And for rendezvous, oh yes, resources. I actually forgot that panel. There is your resources. That'll have all your fuel and battery. How did I forget that panel? It even shows your science. That is very cool. So I went to orbital parameters, landing. I must have skipped that one right by and went to the rendezvous. But yes, there we are. We have our rendezvous. We're trying to rendezvous with the other docking test ship, which currently zero inclination, 82.3 meter distance. Uh, velocity from the target, 0 0.023, blah, 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 meters per second. Uh, ooh, oh, um, apoapsis and periapsis of our target. So that is cool, but the bigger thing that I, I can't wait to click this button because I've been wanting to see this. I saw images of it on the forums and I, I gotta click it. I gotta try it. Glorious. You get a docking camera. Now, thing about this it only gives you a docking camera if you actually have... Oh, why did I do that button? No, I meant this button. If you actually have a docking port. If you don't have a docking port on here, it won't give you an inter a uh, camera in your internal view. So if we go to that, it's awesome. You get your X, Y, and Z from the docking. It gives you your speed and distance and all the different angles. And if we just sort of inch forward, you can see where... 
Got uh, 2.1 meters per second on the X, 2.8-ish on the Z. We're closing in distance. I love this. I love this so much. And, you know, we have our normal nav ball up there showing that we are coming in on the target. And, oh, let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. And, Doc, Doc, you fool. There we go. We are docked. <laughs> I, I love that camera. It, it has always been one of the most, uh, I, I don't want to say annoying because it's not really annoying, just time-consuming things to sit here changing your camera angle constantly you know, when you're trying to dock just so that you can make sure that you are actually in line with the space station or other vessel or whatever it is. Let's uh, undock here. Oh, we are on the other one now. Go to IVA. And... Oh, he's not our target. Oh, though... Why aren't we moving backwards? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We still have our parking brake on. <laughs> that would help. Okay, that's cool. So we don't actually need a target for docking. We just need a docking port. That is awesome. That is actually really cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, imagine, you know, flying in one of these capsules using, like, the Mark I capsule to take off with and having a docking port on the front so you could still see it from, like, a sort of bird's eye or the normal perspective out the front of the capsule. That is... that is very cool. I really like this. Ooh, let's zoom in. Very pixelated. Low res. Wonderful. That is awesome. <laughs> this is probably my favorite part about the mod and the, the bit I will get certainly the most use out of because it's just glorious. I mean, look at it. It's great. And we got all these other wonderful info panels that are just cool to have as well. But let's actually head back to the Space Center, just build a really quick rocket to get us into space so we can see some of the other parameters working. And we're actually going to do this launch from inside a Mark I capsule. So let's do that and add a little Clampatron Jr. up to the top so that we can see out the top of the nose. And, uh, of course, we do want whoever is going on this mission to survive, so let's give him some side-mounted parachutes. Lovely. That should be perfect. And uh, da, 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 let's see a wonderful decoupler. That should work. Hmm, we could add on the uh, Stargazer Nacelle. That, that that could get him into space very quickly. <laughs> I really do love that thing. Uh, you know what? Let's just make a ship of solid rocket boosters. Have a little fun out of this as well. And uh, let's... Yeah, you know what? Let's just, let's just make it entirely out of solid rocket boosters. They'll all run out at the same time or explode horribly, killing us. One of the two. What poor fool is going on this mission? Patlock Kerman. I am so sorry, Patlock. I truly am, but you're probably going to die. Let's launch. <laughs> and yeah, this is actually, this mod is going to allow me to do something that personally I've been wanting to do for a while. I, I love the idea that we have the cockpits, but I've never wanted to actually do a mission from inside the cockpit. Because most of the windows, you just got these tiny little windows, so it's kind of boring to just see this. But, now that we have all of this wonderful stuff, I, we have all sorts of things. We got the docking camera. It's glorious. Let's, uh, da -da -da -da. let's not do that. Let's do the orbital parameters. I'm going to throttle up even though we don't need to because we're using solid rocket boosters. <laughs> and let's launch. All right, and look at that. We have our uh, periapsis, which is in the negative right now, our apoapsis going up quite quickly. Our period of time that we have been in this mission. Inclination. Uh, ooh, what's the ECC? I'm not entirely sure. Time to apoapsis. Time to periapsis. Our mission time, this is just wonderful, all the cool stuff we have here. And let's see, altitude, we are almost up to 10,000. Though I was about to say so we could do a gravity turn, but we're not going to be going very far. So. <laughs> let's see what we have from the docking camera. We can see the blackness of space, glorious. And okay, there's the heat effects going out the window there. 
Uh, let's just release those. I um, didn't mean to do map. Are we actually going to get into space? Let's uh, actually go back into the IVA and look at our apoapsis from here. So we are going to get up to an apoapsis of about 65,000 meters. So not quite into space, but cool nonetheless. I really do like all of this stuff. Let's actually pitch ourselves down. Oh, look at that. That's just glorious. <laughs> A beautiful shot. Oh God, that's kind of hard to control there. Let's, uh, there we are. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. Kind of strange trying to look at that and it's controlling in odd directions. Would have been better to actually look at the nav ball while doing that. But uh, yeah, we got a lovely view of Kerbin there from our docking port camera. And it's very cool. Oh, we're like a little spy satellite that's horribly, horribly controlled. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, I really do love this little asset main core log system. It's just great. There's our current location. We got all that lat long goodness. Crew roster, untitled spacecraft. And then of course the page left initially intentionally blank. But yeah, we got good parameters here. And these parameters right here are why I loved having mech Jeb long ago. Because I loved being able to see my periapsis and apoapsis without having to go to my map and, you know, all these other great things like time to my apoapsis. Having this altitude there is great as well, and also our true altitude to sea level, or to sea level and then true altitude. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so that would be our true altitude, and that's from sea level, I'm assuming. That seems right. I hope. <laughs> and we have our resources, so we've got a good amount of battery there left. Uh, we don't, can't actually collect science in sandbox mode. No rendezvous. Our wonderful docking camera. That is... Uh, the camera part is my favorite. With a docking clamp on there, it is just so, so wonderful. I mean, look at that. We, we've got a lovely, lovely view of the Kerbin surface as we are plummeting back to our doom. <laughs> from 60, 65,000 meters, roughly. Let's, uh, head back out to here. And, yeah, that is actually going to be it for this episode. Uh, that's really all there is to show off on this thing. Oh, God, we are heading right back down to the uh, Kerbal Space Center. Let's, let's actually point our camera over there. Aha! <laughs> back inside. Uh, oh, we are pointed... A horrible oh there we go there we oh no back 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 there we are we are aimed at the Kerbal Space Center plummeting to our doom well not actually our doom we do have parachutes so we should be safe but yeah that's really all there is to show of this mod it is once again the raster prop monitor to make your IVAs a glass cockpit experience made by forum user Mihara and yeah, if you'd like to put this into your game, a link will be in the description for you to check it out. And if you are another modder, ah, I would love to see what some of the awesome capsules and cockpits that some of the modders have made. I would love to see them implement this because it's just so, so cool. Oh god, it is very, very hard to control. It's basically in the opposite direction with the camera. But we're, we're coming in. We're coming in good. We should probably open the parachute soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed and that you guys go and check out this mod. It is just so wonderful. It's worth it for the docking camera alone, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and you come back for the next one. We'll be back on career mode, maybe, maybe, unless I find another cool mod. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one and parachute. Let's turn off the SAS. Whoa, there we go. Oh, there's the parachutes. Lovely. <laughs> Bye, everyone.